how to prevent infection or infectious disease and how to prevent the spread of infection. Well, in this video, you will get to know the what, the why and the how to prevent infectious disease like COVID-19 and how to prevent the spread of infection and that from the very root up. Now, everything that is alive to the fullest flows and everything that gets blocked or stops flowing heads toward a flat line. Now, only when we know the actual root cause of an infection or an infectious disease, we can heal the root together with every other symptom. And in this video, you will see that the very root cause is a blockage in our metabolic flow, which will make us more prone to infectious or infectious diseases. Now, the good news is we can take away that blockage at the very root to prevent the symptoms of infection or infectious disease. Now, welcome to this video. I am Tom Nuyens from the Alive Academy. And an infectious disease is an illness resulting from an infection. That is obvious. Now that you know the what an in infectious disease is, I want to share with you the why. Because once you know the why, you will make your intent behind the how way more effective, which will drastically improve your results. And I want you to experience flow instead of any blockage you may be experiencing. So the question is, why do we get infected? Now, there are two main theories regarding the cause of an infection. We have the germ theory of Louis Pasteur, who wasn't a medical doctor, where he claims that certain microorganisms come into our body, then they multiply, and then you would manifest some disease symptoms in case an infection has happened. And then there is the cellular theory from Dr. Pierre-Jacques Antoine Béchamp, who is a medical doctor and a doctor in the biochemistry. And he says, microorganisms do not just invade the body because we inhale at least 14,000 germs every hour. If the concept of Louis Pasteur is correct, then we shouldn't be able to survive in the first place. Now, Dr. Béchamp says that it is our own internal environment what dictates if a person gets an infection or not and that we can actually do something about it. And I will show you an animation exactly why and how. Imagine this is our body. Let's represent this circle as a highly magnified cell in our body. When we are living, we accumulate environmental toxins from the plastic bottles we drink from, the junk food we eat from the environmental pollution, together with our own acidic metabolic waste produced by our own metabolism. This accumulation of toxins and acidic metabolic waste become food for the pathogenic microorganisms. Everything that you feed will multiply. Just like when we don't put our garbage outside ourselves, our kitchen will also be invaded with pests that multiply by eating the waste. When our body is clean, just like with our kitchen, pathogenic organisms have no food and won't be present. So the only thing we have to do is to intensively cleanse our body from pathogenic food. And the best way to cleanse is with water. But it is not that simple. Why not? Imagine we eat the perfect food and we drink pure water. The water will be blocked and cannot get into or cannot get out the cell, so cannot create flow to cleanse ourselves from toxins and acidic metabolic waste. But the good news is there is another way that does work, de-blocks and creates flow. It is drinking unadded, unflavored source mineral water with essential minerals or electrolytes in the mineral ratio nature provides it. Watch what happens when we drink water with essential minerals or electrolytes like sodium, magnesium, potassium, 
fluoride, sulfate, and carbonate. Electrolytes are charged minerals that are balanced with a positively charged mineral, such as sodium, magnesium, and potassium, and a negatively charged mineral complex, such as chloride, sulfate, and carbonate in such a way that they will dissolve and split in water, making the liquid electrically conductive. This electrical conductivity we need to be able to pull our water, our oxygen, our nutrients and our hormones into the cells. And this water with minerals or electrolytes flushes out all the toxins and acidic metabolic waste out of the cells. The pathogenic organisms like viruses, bad bacteria or fungi don't have any food to multiply, so will vanish too. Obviously you have noticed from the news that most people who get diagnosed with COVID are known to already have some sort of background with a disease. And the reason why they are sick is also because of this accumulated acidic toxic environment in each cell, so they become more prone to develop infectious. Now, 70% of our body consists of mineral water, so make sure to put emphasis to drink mineral water without adding any flavor or taste. This electrically conductive liquid will be able to pull water, oxygen, essential nutrients from food and hormones into our cells, and will flush out all accumulated acidic metabolic waste and toxins, which will starve all pathogenic organisms like viruses. Know that for every glass of caffeine-containing drink, which the body doesn't recognize as water, you will have to add three glasses extra on top of your daily necessary quantity, because coffee is the most water-draining, non-cleansing substance there is. Now, my personal opinion, based upon the fact that our internal environment dictates if we get infected or not, is that the best way to fight viruses is to cleanse our body from toxins and acidic metabolic waste. And the best way to cleanse ourselves is with the intended transportation system called water with conductive minerals. The great news is that this way any cell blockage will be flushed out and our physical body will flow back into an oxygen-rich, healthy, flowing environment without accumulated toxic waste and acidity, or in other words, will flow alive again to the fullest. What does it do to you realizing that you can flush out the food of all pathogenic organisms yourself, which protect you best against pathogenic organisms? Like if you do, and let me know in the comment box below. I'm curious. Now, do you know people who, who you love very much, who could benefit from this very valuable insight? So please send this video to them or share it on your social media. Now, you probably know that chronic stress also blocks our body, also weakens our immune system and also makes us more prone to diseases as well. Now, so if you don't only want to flush out all of your physical blockages, but also want to be liberated from your emotional blockages like stress, like fear, like unsolved pain or addicting distractions, I have great news for you. I made four free videos for you about breaking free from any uh, emotional blockage from the very root up that you are going to love. So click here so I can send the videos to you. And unlike you might think, it is actually a very enjoyable direction and so liberating. So enjoy breaking free from the very inside out to flow over in the abundant fulfilled flow that you are born for.